5,000. 5,000 likes and I'll put it. That's not working. Dave, I hate to say, but there's smoke coming there from there. There is smoke coming from it. <laughs> Dubstep is back. Sound systems are back. Non-turbo autom- uh, maybe not non-turbo automatics. What's up guys and welcome to another episode of the Drift Games vlog and like a lot of our vlogs this vlog has come around from slagging basically so we were in the garage the other night and Wayne Curran was saying to us that back in the day he was quite the max power man he had the big sound systems and the cool civics and all and I said look the stereo is not working in the GX100 then it progressed it to sort of we were saying let's put some subs let's put some amps let's make the thing bang let's have a we haven't put a sound system in a car in I can't even remember the last time I put a sound system. I'll say we, 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 it's been 10 years. It's probably been 10 <laughs> years. But because this car isn't a performance car, I was like, why don't we just make a cool sound system in it? So I got like a touchscreen stereo. So I called into my friend Robbie and Istronics. These guys do very professional audio installs. We're not doing a very professional audio install, but he has all the gear. So he's going to give us all the speaker wire and all the stuff we need to make this car have a really nice sound system. Because I love this thing on the road. It's really comfortable and it's a really nice car to drive. It just has no stereo, literally nothing. And also we want to sort out our back box issue because the rear exhaust is just... Oh, well, we, I, I say we address this because I was driving behind you the other day like, and it's... What is this? Like that is horrendous. So no <laughs> it looks even worse on So we're just going to get a back box. So there's no point. This is a cheap build. I told you this whole car was built on a budget. I don't want to put a big performance system on a car with no power. So back box is exactly what I want. So let's run in, grab Robbie. See, he said he's putting together a little package for me. So uh, we'll see if we have everything that Wayne needs to make this work. All right, so we're here with this Robbie. Robbie, obviously, this is the kind of stuff Robbie does. So this is high-end audio stuff. And we're sort of doing the exact opposite of that today. <laughs> we're going for the cheap and cheerful uh, approach. So this is kind of what we need to get us going. So we have two amps, two subs, and two boxes at the moment, and a head unit. You're recommending that we go with four speakers for the doors, because obviously the speakers and doors will be rubbish, because they're probably from, they're almost 23 years old now, so they're going to be absolutely fantastic. So you're looking at two new ones, or four new ones, and then this is sort of a wiring kit for everything else. Yeah, the, most of the Japanese M4 cars use a genuine 16 centimeter round speaker. It's multi-fit pattern, which makes them very easy to fit. And this one has the tweeter in the center position as well. So just by replacing the four speakers, we'll have a far superior sound. And with your subwoofers, we'll have a full range sound then. Brilliant, well that's exactly what we need. And most importantly, we don't have a pea shooter on the back of the car anymore. So obviously this is, we're just gonna put this on because uh, more for the look than anything else and a little bit of sound because the car is not a performance car. As we've always said, putting a big performance exhaust on a car with 140 horsepower. Um, I might've done it in my early twenties, but not anymore. I think as long as it looks better than what it does. So we're gonna try and get that welded and clamped on as well. And thank you very much, Robbie. Really appreciate it. We're gonna head over good to Wayne. Man. Bring we'll all, see you, Josh. This, all these goodies to Wayne and see if he's as good at putting in sound systems as you reckon he is. Right, we uh, skipped a little bit there, Dave. I was gonna say, D Dave was, Impressed with his double din stereo, and you we were in a traffic jam and you showed off with it. And it's the wrong double din, <laughs> it's actually for a BMW, so this, I had to buy another one. And in Halfords, of course, nobody came to help me for about an hour. Then they told me they had no stereos, and then I gave up. And then they came back saying, No, we have this stereo, the very first one you asked for. So I was like, Great, that's exactly what I wanted the first time. So, uh, customer service in Halfords, that one guy that works in the four stores at the same time, great to see you. Yeah, Wayne is a bit of a max power head, he's done all yeah. this stuff in the past, so Robbie reckons that. So we've got four speakers. Wayne was expecting 14 speakers yeah. here now. No 6.9s, no? No 6.9s, because you can't put 6.9s in it because it's a metal shelf. We can cut it. Yeah, we can. And then we got loads of bits and bobs and... Damn, oh, you're no dropping it. So basically, I put it on the boot here. Where are the amps? The amps are over there in the box. Two amps, two subs, four speakers, and a new stereo. That'll be a banger. There's a lot of bass going to be going on in two of these for this car. It's going to be class. If you're going to do it, do it right. You can I just... think we should include. Have you got any pictures of your car? That would have been, that would have been the in a polo. That would have been all the wearing you need. But it's now we're... Dog. I say we'll put a few pictures in of uh, Wayne's old Max Tarbell. We have all the we pictures, do we? We'll get them. We'll, we'll, we'll get them. them. So probably what's best happening is you start at the front and I'll start at the back and therefore I'll get working on the, sub, the, the boot build. You do the speakers and you do the stereo and the power and we get it all done. Let's we'll see where this goes. Mm. 
Yep. Dave, I think this is what they call gone, gone an absolute hand. mess. It's it's a we call this the the middle stage, this early stage. <laughs> if it all go back together, which I'm very doubtful it will. Everything's off. The whole center console has come out. You're wiring everywhere. Wayne's <laughs> under there. I think you're not intent. Listen, that door card's off. Yeah, I did that. I, I, I did that bit. <laughs> so Dave, you can't really play dumb on this project because this is probably the only thing that we filmed that you're qualified to do. I didn't do a sound engineering degree. Yeah. But I but I don't tell people I know how to do this because they make me do stuff. But on this particular project, I am actually knowing how this works. Me and Wayne are quite the duo here. Wayne's got the wiring skills. I've got the sound engineering, so I can actually set it up lovely when it's all working. And Wayne also and I have both lived in the max power area. So this is all we ever knew about. This was mechanics back in the day, Wayne, wasn't it? This was pretty much mechanics, was just putting in speakers into cars. I was gonna say, I've never seen Wayne actually so excited for one of these projects. Like, he's really got involved. Nostalgia in this way. Loops of the town, I can get the old Dr. Dre banging out. <laughs> and people will go, what's that sound? Oh, it's that class Mark II. Must be fast, sounds fast, because it has an exhaust, but it's not fast, it can't go anywhere. And then they'll hear the automatic shift of, duh, and they'll go, oh, rubbish. But for a moment, that'll be cool. A few moments later, Wait. <laughs> what did you, you've done something. What did you do? I broke something. What did you break? I turned it over and these got crushed. And it broke the end off that. Which is, which is not good. No. Dave, I was only bigging you up. You were looking good, you were qualified, you were solving problems. And more clumsiness than knowledge now. I'm more on a supervisor role now. <laughs> <laughs> you, you move, you've got, no, got, got a promotion then. Yeah. I got it. Wayne said if I could just mind him doing it. That's not working. No. Dave, I hate to say, but there's smoke coming there from there. There is smoke coming from it. That's burning. Dave, you had one job. It's burning. I think it's blown. It's not going well, Dave. It's going okay. We're just, this is part of the learning process. And we've uh, Why are you switching the amp? Just no reason, just thought it was good. It's not that the other one went on fire or anything. I mean that's just crazy talk. I mean it's just amp speakers, how do you go on fire? Just right, test, test them both. Just testing it. You got two, I've got options. Two. I've got options to use one or the other. I think we might go with the smaller one just <laughs> you know. Either way. We've moved away from supervisor now. <laughs> now just... I'm now in the head office. Just <laughs> I have trusted companions that are... Well, see, the thing is, the thing about mechanics is they love problem solving. Love it. I hate problems. All problems, but they love it. You, you, you're doing them a favour, really. Did you see this on a normal audio channel? Yeah, just... Should, yeah, shouldn't go. be here. Which bit did you... Oh, there's a strong smell from this. Okay, so after many fires and many arguments and a bit of banter, we actually got this car brought up to, uh, to first stage was the outside, I think we're doing okay on the outside, still have a bit more I want to do. It's, I couldn't deal with the fact that I had no radio, but instead of just getting a radio, we went and did a big old sound system, Josh. I was going to say, the, sound system. the speakers that have gone in, there's four of them and they are four bigger ones than... And a sub. And a big sub. Look at this. This is all very modern. Modern technology. It's charging my phone. <laughs> charging my phone. You need some charge. Yeah, do not operate it while uh, driving. How else would you turn I don't even know what that means. <laughs> got Google Maps, got Spotify, got the whole shebang. So now you want to test the sound system in it. Oh, we have to do a copyright free song, don't we? You're getting distorted here. Could be a slow start. <laughs> Here we go going now. Good. Oh my god. Dave, come here. <laughs> Dubstep is back. Sound systems are back. Non-turbo autom- uh, maybe not non-turbo automatics, but everything else is back. That's actually really, really good. That was supposed to be like a half an hour job though. Every job we do is supposed to be half an hour. Um, it was light but, when we but started. This, I mean, but this is why I like this car because 
It's not the most perfect car in the world. You can have a bit of a mess around. You can put a sound system in. It's got the space. I still have a boot still. I'm happy. And now we can cruise down the road, listen to the tunes. I'm more happy than I was with no stereo. And I know I'm not going anywhere fast. However, Josh, this You're going to sound like you're going fast. We're going to sound like the fast leads, but we'll be going slow. <laughs> so, and we'll have this awful automatic four speed. Blah, blah, thing happening. But we have an old can here. Oh, look at that. And we don't have... I'm not sure we can do anything here with that. No. I'm not sure we can do anything at all oh, with that. Oh, before we go anywhere, I want to show... Well, it's been buried by all of our sound system crap that we have. But this is a very special moment for me and Josh because... Guess what came in the post? Well, I can... I, 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 I can guess. This is a moment now because... So this is... I don't know. How many videos have we made? I'll have to check that on my phone. I'll say this is a depressing... I think last time I checked, you could pretty much watch a video every single day for a year and you wouldn't be able to get through a playlist. 321 videos. Oh, I was almost right, maybe. Got a bit videos, maybe, maybe, maybe so we right. made 321 videos, which is over 100 videos a year for three years. And to be honest, that's great. But you guys watching the channel are the reason this now exists. This has had a little bit of help from Adam LZ, a little bit of help from other people shouting at our channel, a little bit of help from James Dean along the way, a little bit of help from loads of people. And we obviously can't thank everyone enough for it. But for me and Josh, this was the dream, right? We didn't actually think this would be possible. I remember when we had 15,000 subscribers. It just no, you know, you know so the one hard. that I remember was the first 10, trying to get to 10,000. Well, we got to 10,000, it was like, way drinks are on me. And to get to 100, I think we only thought about getting to 100. We never thought about any power past that, but we got to 100 and all of the videos that we've made, those 320 whatever videos, they all have a great memory for us. And the one good thing I said is that we can always look back on them and see the stuff that we've done in the past, the people we've met, the cars we've built. It, I think sometimes if you go back to a random video, forget how much we did in those 300 videos. But the amazing thing is now this is here and this is- um, Just open the box. It's got Keen Leonard's name, and I'm not going to give Keen Leonard's name. <laughs> oh, you can. It's in Mandelo. He has his. So Keen actually ordered this for us. We actually were so busy making more videos, we didn't actually order this, and Keen did. He wanted to surprise us, so he gave it to us today. And this is what you get. So you get a very nice little letter. Do you remember your first subscriber? No. Do you remember your hundred? No. Do you remember your thousand? Yeah. I, was, I, remember. <laughs> I actually yeah, remember I actually the remember. thousand. I definitely remember the hundredth. I, and the bit, mad thing was, I was in Abu Dhabi. It was five o'clock in the morning, and I was watching the counter go up. And you were in Ireland. I think we were all in the group chat, and genuinely, we were all kind of refreshing and stuff like that. And when it hit a hundred thousand, everyone got the screenshot of hitting the hundred thousand. Oh, crazy! And I was on my own screaming in a room, <laughs> which uh, probably woke up everybody around me. But it was worth it. So this is what it's all about, guys. Um, look at this. Wow. This is it's amazing how much it doesn't feel this, real. this little picture can actually mean to you. You have no idea. This this plaque, which looks so cool, right? Not picture plaque. Presented Drift Games for passing 100,000 subscribers. Don't need this little thing anymore. But this little plaque, right? To me, and I'm being honest, to me and Josh, this means more than winning any drift championship. It means more than anything we've done, I think, along the way. This is like finally a little bit of recognition and also. I don't know, all that hard work, all those late nights, all those uploads, all the panics, all the, I mean, how much editing, think about it, 321 videos, that's surely thousands of editing hours, and so much money spent on cars, and wasted on cars, and good cars, bad cars, it all came to this, so thank you guys so much, this is a big part of what we do, is what you guys watch, you made this possible, our sponsors made this possible, our partners, our families, our friends, all of our helpers across every single domain made this happen. So we don't forget it, believe me. And yeah, it's a bit of a moment for us. I'm super happy. I know we're making a really stupid sound system video today, but this is the point. We get to have fun with cars. And we, if with things like this, if we can keep going, we can do more things all the time. So between traveling and obviously working on the compound and working on new projects and drift cars and all that stuff, we want to keep creating more videos, getting more sponsors, getting more budget together, doing more crazy stuff and bringing everybody along for the ride with us. So thank you guys so much. Now, I was going to say, do you know what the really annoying thing is about this? What? So think how hard it was to get to 100,000. Yeah. The next one's 500,000. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> they just, you don't get one every 100,000. Oh, and then the one after that is a million. Oh, a million? God <laughs> almighty, we'll never get there. 
We may never know. You never know. We'll you, you never say never. Never say never. We thought we wouldn't get to 100,000. So what we've learned after doing 100,000 subscribers, and we're now up near 125 or 6, and all of the cars and everything we've done, what we've learned is that really good content works. So now we're about to put a, ja a Japanese... <laughs> the cheap is exhaust the cheap is the exhaust I can find on a non-turbo automatic. This is the stuff you stick around for, folks. <laughs> Don't miss it. We're off to Wayne's. <laughs> Where there's heat because it's absolutely freezing. And so, it's minus one, which um, if you're from another country, that means really cold. Um, so it's a, it's a cold night, so we came into Wayne's, we got the pit. We're going to try and mock up this exhaust. Now, obviously, we could put, I, I, many times I've said this, we could put a fancy performance exhaust. What's the point? The car has no performance. So we're just going to make it sound a bit nicer and look a bit nicer. So we've got a bit This of, is far from an ideal way of doing what we're this. Doing this is this car, yeah, this right car, right? It's, Whatever's been done in this car has done well, but with the mindset that the car isn't a performance car. So we just want it to look good and we want it to sound good. So we're taking a piece of Josh's MX-5 exhaust and we're going to try and mock it up. Because it needs to be about six inches longer. Yeah. So we're gonna right bodge angle. this pipe onto that pipe onto the exhaust. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. It's just not the prettiest way of doing it. It'll be pretty from the outside, but just not pretty from underneath. So you know, it's good. It's free. It's free. And the thing is, I said this car. We're, I'm modifying it to be a daily. I don't want it to be like too crazy. Now. Uh, it's just, I'm kind of getting to enjoy the car now. Remember the golf fan, remember the golf fan. Not let the golf fan happen again. So yeah, we're just doing some fun stuff. One of the things I want to talk about is the BC Racing coilovers in this car, because I just want to mention them, because I've actually had these on the car now. I've been driving this car daily for what, two or three weeks now? Two, two, three. I was going to say, that's a big thing. He never drives a car daily. I've been choosing this over the Supra to drive every day. That's, that's a fact, because both of them work. Um, and the one great thing is that there's so much adjustability on the BC Racing coilover, and it's so easy to adjust that you can do a drive, change a few little settings, just a piece of advice for you. Don't buy coilovers that are just preset, that haven't got that adjustability, because this was actually hitting the arch a little bit. I was able to... Maybe. No, I, I, I sorted, sorted. Oh, oh, you hit it with a hammer? I hit it with a hammer. So basically, it was, it was hitting, the, it was really comfy all around, but it was probably a little too soft on the front, getting a bit too much rebound. So I actually hardened up the front a little bit. It's still comfortable, but now it doesn't... Like, so if you want to run stancy wheels, or you want to be low, do not buy cheap coilovers because you have no adjustability. Whatever way they are is whatever way they are, and if they're terrible, they're terrible every day. So this thing is like, it drives like a modern car now. It's really nice. So just a little top tip, BC Racing coilovers. We have them on, I think in the next couple of weeks, we'll have them on every single car we have, bar the van. And if they made them for the van, we'd probably get them for the van. But uh, yeah, we got a couple of packages coming from BC, so thank you to them. So Dave is going off to, I'm gonna go, you actually forgot to. I forgot to do the release of the video for tonight because I got wrapped up in the sound system. So I'm gonna go do that. Let Josh work away here. I'll be back in a few minutes. What could possibly go wrong? Get my bag. Get my bag. Are you back already? I'm going my laptop. It's a new shit. It's a new shit. Yeah, it's a new shit. It's all right, it's a new shit. We are very organized as you can see. Okay, so yeah, kind of mocked up. So we cut this section out of my old MX-5 exhaust and it was too big. So we cut some slits and cut some slits to narrow it down. So it's onto there and then obviously we will weld all those slits up and weld around and hopefully it will sound all right. So we're going to start this with no exhaust just to see how unreal it sounds. I'm not sure how mad it's going to sound because it has got a lot of silences but then again like that the back box is substantially big. <laughs> I was gonna say, you'd actually, you'd almost not want to put an exhaust on. Sounds just. Like an IS-200. <laughs> I think that's somewhere resp respectable. It's not bad. There's smoke coming out. Oh, smoke it out. She's not even on the car. There's smoke coming out of it. It's magic. It's just magic. You know how many people have messaged me now going, I've got a turbo kit for them. I'm like, just leave me alone. Then I start thinking about it.
<laughs> Sounds like a good idea. Turbo kit? Should I do a turbo kit? I'm not doing the thing in the comments. I'm going to ruin the car again. So, so what, how many likes do we get usually a video? We get just over a thousand, so I would say 5,000. 5,000 likes and I'll put a turbo kit and a link ECU on it. And that's not, and with the Pandem kit I was like, give me four likes and I really wanted to do it. This I really don't want to do. So 5,000 likes and I'll turbo it and make it do things. Come on, people. <laughs> no, They're gonna get behind it, they are. No. Okay, so the next day we're back here early in the morning and Wayne is now going to do some welding because Wayne proclaims I'm he, not a welder. He, he says he is some man for welding. He is one of the best welders in Ireland. Better than Ryan, I guess. Oh! We're not saying this is a professional job. This is not a we're, professional job. We're, we're not claiming this is the right way to go around it's it. Pipe your welding up and everything, Josh. Yeah, I mean, it's my old MX-5 exhaust. It was barely meant for this car. So he's going to weld this up, see how it is, see if it sounds much different, and then do a bit of a sound test and flyby test afterwards. I mean, you, you, you can't see what's behind there. I don't want to see what's behind You don't want to see what's behind there, That's but... That's a good I, job. Wayne Kern and Josh Holdsworth. I would say from literally zero euros spent. That is an original uh, Josh and Wayne exhaust. They do custom exhaust for all types of cars, especially if you want them done very quickly. If, if you're on a budget and you've got nothing, then... then don't come near Wayne. <laughs> He'll just tell you to go away. Uh, we'll, give it a, we'll give it a start. I'll give it a start and then we'll do a flyby, I'd say. I know the sound system, let's see if it sounds good on the outside. I, I don't think it's going to be too loud. It's I don't think so because there's two massive silences before yeah, it's, this. It's more for the look, but let's see. Ooh. That's actually a bit louder than I thought it was going to be. That's enough to be. At least it has a bit of presence now. It doesn't sound like nothing, which is what it sounds like. You're gonna see how slow it actually is now. Personally, I think that is full tilt. It's getting louder. <laughs> that, that last one, you were giving it everything, weren't you? <laughs> it's a slow car. I told you this from the start. It's a slow car. Not every car can be a rocket ship, fast, four rotor flame spitter. But for a cruiser, it's nice on the inside. Now, it sounds nicer on the outside. Nicer. This doesn't sound unreal, but it sounds nicer. It looks better on the outside. I'm pretty happy with it. All right, guys, so every video we make can't be an absolute banger because we're normal people and we do normal projects. But this, I think, is kind of more relatable because not everything is a drift car, not everything is a crazy car. This is just a back box, sound system, a bit of a kit and a spray. Do you know what? From a very standard, what essentially we think was a taxi in Japan, I've actually made a very nice daily, and I drive it actually every day, and it's not too bad on juice, it's nice and comfortable. But with all the mod cons and a little bit of burble from the back, I'm very, very happy with this. And we've just adjusted the BCs because I've just tested them there since we did it and no more rubbing on the front. So this is nearly perfect. So I want to thank uh, Wayne, obviously, and Josh for giving me a hand getting this done. I also want to thank one of the unsung heroes of the channel, Tommy Dunn. So in the last video, one of the last videos you'll have seen, Gary Dunn drifting his S15 in Mondello. Well, Tommy is his dad and he's helped us out with so many silly stuff, like stuff that no one would bother helping us with. He always jumps in and helps us. So thank you so much to Tommy. The next videos, I think the next one is going to be us doing something even more loud, which is putting an exhaust and an intake on the Supra. So stay tuned for that one. We'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.